the situation at Fukushima Daiichi remains very serious. The immediate priority is to overcome the crisis and stabilize the reactors. But we must also begin the process of reflection and evaluation. The worries of millions of people throughout the world about whether nuclear energy is safe must be taken seriously. Rigorous adherence to the most robust international safety standards and full transparency in good times and bad are vital for restoring and maintaining public confidence in nuclear power. The IAEA has been working at full stretch since March 11th to help Japan overcome the crisis. Agency experts in the field of boiling water resource reactors are now in the country. In the next few days, they will visit the on-site emergency control room at the Fukushima Daiichi plant to get first-hand information. As soon as the situation at the Fukushima Daiichi permits, the agency would like to send an international expert mission to conduct an assessment of the accident upon request from Japan. I believe this should include an element of peer review. It is clear that more needs to be done to strengthen the safety of nuclear power plants so that the risk of a future accident is significantly reduced. As you may know, I have invited our member states to an IEA ministerial conference on nuclear safety from June 20th to 24th in Vienna. The conference will consider policy and technical issues, including improving the protection of nuclear power plants against multiple hazards, preparedness for prolonged power blackouts, enhancing emergency power supply, and protecting spent fuel under accident conditions. The equally important aspects of effective regulatory oversight emergency preparedness and response, and accident management generally will also be discussed, as will the future status of IAEA safety standards and the agency's role in nuclear safety and security. It is already clear that arrangements for putting international nuclear experts in touch with each other quickly during a crisis need to be improved. As of the end of 2010, more than 60 IAEA member states had informed the agency that they were considering introducing nuclear power programs. Almost all the 29 countries which already had such programs planned to expand them. In the light of Fukushima Daiichi accident, some countries have announced reviews of their plans for nuclear power. However, the basic drivers behind the interest in nuclear power have not changed as a result of Fukushima. This includes rising global energy demand, as well as concerns about climate change, volatile fossil fuel prices, and energy security. Nuclear power has contributed to expanding the supply of energy and has also reduced greenhouse gas and other emissions. The IAEA will continue to work closely with both established users and newcomers to ensure that nuclear power is used efficiently, safely, and securely, and without proliferation of nuclear weapons. In the light of Fukushima accident, we will redouble our efforts to help newcomer countries to put an effective nuclear safety infrastructures in place well before the first reactor starts up.